Hotep everybody. I've been saying I was gonna make a video on this again, right? But listen, you know, it, it ain't been snowing out here lately and uh where I live at. Normally it snows a lot, especially starting from November. And I know some of y'all live in a place where it may be cold, but it ain't been snowing a lot like it normally has. That's because the sun getting closer to the earth. You hear me? The sun getting closer to the earth. And uh the core of the earth is getting hotter. Not only that, but Alaska is melting. Not Alaska, but Antarctica is melting. You hear me? I repeat. Antarctica is melting. That is it. Now, I I talked about how we related to the earth. We related to the cosmos. We look like everything that the cosmos is made out of. We have inside of us everything that the cosmos are made out of, right? We are multidimensional beings. We exist on multi multiple planes in multi-dimensionals we are infinite beings so let's look at uh the human body compared to the universe so right here you got brain cells this picture a little blurry anyway right here you got the brain cells compared to the universe it looked just like the dark matter the uh the earth is the let me slow down the universe the universe is made out of dark matter right then you got your your brain cells but this would be the neuromelanin, which is a reflection of the dark matter that the, the universe is made out of. So your neuromelanin inside of your brain, your pineal gland, that is dark matter in a dense form on this in this material realm. It is dense here. Excuse me. So right here you have the birth of a cell and the death of a star, right? This looks like the supernova, right? This is the death. This is just like the death of a uh a, a star and it makes a supernova. We're going to get into that in just a second. Then right here you got the eyes compared to a nebula. Now right here you got your eyeballs, I mean your pupil, we know that the we know now that the pupil are like black holes. And we know when a a supernova explodes up uh outside in the universe when a supernova explodes, black holes start to arise from those supernovas, right? And then you get what is called a cosmic egg, right? Well, this is the supernova, the cosmic egg. Now, I told y'all, you, since your eyes are black holes and you go sun gaze, your eyes have melanin in it. Well, the, the, the melanin in your eyes are called neuro, uh, no, it's called eumelanin. That's E-U-M-E-L-A-N-I-N, eumelanin. It's three different types of melanin, but... You melanin is the melanin in your skin, in your hair, in your eyes. And we know that melanin absorbs 99.9% .9 of light. So don't let people tell you that you get sunburnt from the sun. Especially if you're somebody with alkaline blood. Now listen. When you sun gaze, this is what you will see. You will start to see this in your face. This is, this is, just, this is your pineal gland. You know, uh, scientists, when they see this in the air, when they see this outside in space, they call this the eye of God. They call the pineal gland as well, the eye of God. So when you sun gaze and you absorbing light, because your pineal gland absorbs light, this is what you will see. See, you turn this around, it looks like an eyeball, right? Now, the humans are made out of stardust, 75 to 90 plus percent. Now, they say 75% stardust. They may say 75% water. Water and star is the same thing. Starlight is water in a dense form. Well, water is starlight in a dense form. We drink in dense starlight when we drink water, basically. So this is the things that your body are made out of. Right? Then you got a lot of people on this planet who don't think we made out of stardust. Who don't believe in astrology? If you made out of water and the, and the moon pulls tides, you don't think the the moon affects your body. The moon uh rules the 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 zodiac sign Cancer. Cancer is a water sign, right? Cancer affects moods, emotion, emotion. M O is a feminine uh combination of letters. It has to do with also with mom, which is a nurturing planet, which is nurturing. So the the uh water is feminine, the moon is feminine energy. It gives off feminine energy right it affects your body i don't give a fuck how much you believe in astrology but let's move on here real quick so right here you got the five elements we're just gonna get through this real quick so we can get through these videos right here you got the five elements you are made out of these and i'm gonna explain how 
because you got people who don't think we got fire inside of our body. So first, we're going to start with uh, Earth. You, ha you are made out of Earth because you have zinc, carbon, iron, silver, uh, uh, gold inside of your body. And metals come from are a natural occurring substance that come from planets. So they would be Earth. If you watch Avatar The Last Airbender, the Earthbender on Avatar was the only one who had learnt to bend uh, metal. Because metal is a type of rock. Then you got water. Your, bo your body is made out of 75% water. Then you got fire. You have a fire at the base of your spine, which is where your Kundalini spirit spirals from. And for people who not into spiritual knowledge and don't know nothing about this, that is what the, uh, the Kundalini is what is happening. Uh, when you at church and you see people catching the Holy Ghost and their body start having seizures and jerking ETC. That is your fire being activated at the base of your spine. This fire is also activated when you are having sex or you ejaculate or masturbating. That is why your ejaculatory fluid feels warm. That is why your body feels warm when you having sex. That is why your lower area, your sacral area uh, feels warm when you having sex or when you ejaculate. Then you got air. You have prana inside of your body. You have your, your oxygen that's inside your body. That is prana. That is air. Then you have ether. The melanin in your body. The dark matter that the space is made out of. Right? Space is ether. Or you can also call it a kosh. But it's made out of dark matter. Your melanin in your eyes, skin, and hair is representative of that dark matter. Not only that, your neuromelanin, which is produced in your brain, is also representative of dark matter, a.k.a. your adrenochrome in your blood, right? So, let's, 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 go, let's go to this video right here. So, basically, I'm teaching, or I want to show y'all how you can communicate with your cells to heal your body. Because a lot of us, we go to, we have to depend on... Well, I ain't going to say we. A lot of people depend on a doctor to help them feel better or give them medicines or tell them something is right. I ain't going to go to this right now. You can look this up yourself. But it is said that about 800, uh, there are 800,000 cases, something along these lines. 800,000 people are uh, affected by the amount of medicine or the medicine itself that the doctor gives them. Right. And can be potentially dead. So you see cases like Michael Jackson where, and I quote, his doctor gave him too much medicine uh, or whatever. And he died. Same thing happened with my grand, uh, my grandfather on my father's side. But, you know, doctors, you can't always trust the doctor. And we know this. This is why we already had all the medicine we needed growing out of the earth. That is why certain uh, herbs and plants are called medicinal herbs medicinal herbs these plants have medicinal herbs these this pharmaceutical medicine got medicinal herbs in them but it's also artificial so it's giving you side effects while giving you benefits you want you want uh benefits not side effects that's harming you while you're trying to heal your body from the medicines that the doctor are uh, prescribing you. excuse me right so then it's it's like it's so many uh <clears throat> your Plant food can heal damn near any disease. I can't think of a disease that it can't heal. I'm not saying it can heal every single disease that's possible. I'm saying it can heal any disease that you can think of. If you get what I'm trying to say. Now, I'm not, I haven't heard of a disease that plants cannot heal. I have not. I have not. And it's not like you only have to use plants. But anyway, that is, you have to take the holistic approach. It has to be a balance. Just like, uh, Credits to Lior. She said it. She basically brought to my attention that there has to be a balance between you uh, getting care from your doctor and you getting care from yourself. So you need to learn how to heal yourself, and not just with this, this, these techniques I'm about to show y'all, but with 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 plant-based food, organic food, natural foods, because it heals your body. When we eat these nasty ass foods that come from the stores, and, and the meat uh, gets darker and whatnot, these foods have no color, so they don't affect your chakras. So what type of, of healing are you getting from the foods? Except for possibly red, which is the blood that comes from the meat. And, and you can't even see or taste the meat. I mean, the blood and the meat all the time. You may not see or taste it, but it's there. It's not easy to get blood out of meat. And some of the meat is bleached, but we ain't gonna get too much into that. Here's this video.
Every part of your body has its own consciousness or its own soul. These transformative words, spoken by indigenous medicine women, began my journey within to discover the extraordinary healing capacity of the human body. When this perspective was introduced to me, I was suffering from a severe chronic pain disorder. I suddenly imagined incorporating this concept into my meditation routine. I thought, can my body hear me, can I talk to it to gain its cooperation in healing this condition? That night, after reaching a state of deep calm through meditation, I inwardly engaged my body in a heartfelt conversation, with hope, but having no idea what to expect. After about one hour of this focused communication, something amazing happened. My tissues began to respond. Connective tissue pulled and stretched apart layers of scar tissue. Nerves fired and my calf muscles began to perform flexion and extension exercises independently of my conscious control. As this response continued, one of my calf muscles that had become paralyzed by the neuropathic condition, diagnosed as reflex sympathetic dystrophy, came back to life as electric-like jolts shot through the area. My heart pounded as I realized that the path to my freedom from this condition had finally begun. With a background in acupuncture and oriental medicine, I knew too well how prevalent chronic pain is in this country and I wondered Well basically, this lady, I know this is a robot voice, I, ain't, I, ain't, I, meant, I meant to mention that before I click on the video, but this is a real person. This person was able to heal herself by getting into a, a state of theta brainwave. We're going to get to that more into that in a minute. But let me, well, matter of fact, let me just say, when you get, when you can change your brain waves, a lot of people tend to think that, think about when, when they think about brain waves, they think about beta, omega, and alpha. And they think that alpha is the best. There is no best, right? But, but theta will be the, let me, how do I say this? Let me give y'all the uh, benefits of what happened when you get into the theta brain waves. You get into a uh, deep relaxation and stress relief, right? That's one. And th these benefits are coming from binauralbeastmeditation.com, right? Number two, anxiety reduction. Number three, mind, body, and healing. Number four, lowers heart rate. Number five, increased intuition. Number six, subconscious connection. Number seven, ability to program the unconscious mind. Number eight, high levels of creativity and uh, problem solving. Number uh, nine, I think I said nine. I meant eight, but now I'm on number nine. Uh, improved emotional connection with self and others. Number 10, a bridge to higher spiritual connection. So when you healing yourself, you connect into your higher self. I talked to y'all about, I think I have, when I talked about how you got to get out of third dimensional viewing uh, or state of consciousness. When you in third dimension, uh, when you in third dimensional consciousness, one thing you do, one thing you do uh, experience is, how do I say this? You see life out of just your eyeballs and it look like Call of Duty. You just see your hands, right? Really, you should bring your conscious up and it should be above your body. So you should be able to see your whole body. So I got I heard what I how what I how I heard it from young Pharaoh, right? Was your conscious affects or is associated with the front of your body. Your subconscious is associated with the back of your body. So obviously everything that you don't deal with, everything that you don't give your attention to is what your subconscious is taking care of like your breathing your heart rate the food you digesting in your body and the scars on your body that you don't consciously heal but they heal by themselves so as a young child even me i know a lot of you have ever have uh noticed that if you just believed if you just believed when you had a scar you believed that your scar would heal quick, especially if you got a cut and it had a scab on it. If you believe that your scar would heal in a day or the next day or the day after that, it was likely that scar was healed on that time you thought it was healed, right? All of my scars in my entire life, every scar, just about every scar I've ever had has healed fast, right? You got to learn how to get into theta brainwaves. This is basically like your soul coming out of your body or your spirit or soul coming out of your body and you becoming your higher self to work on your body it's just like in a video game you control 
you have you in real life have the controller controlling your avatar that's inside the game. Your avatar inside the game is not aware of you in real life. You in real life is your higher self compared to your avatar that's inside the video game. Right? So just like in like Fortnite, for example, you your conscience should be up above your body, able to see your whole body. Right? Not just the front of you, not just your hand. It's you should see your whole body. And this is like a fourth dimensional consciousness. Or fifth dimensional, I mean, I'm sorry. Theta brain waves have to do with fifth dimensional consciousness. So this will help you get inside your body. Like I told y'all in the last one video, the last video I did about you being able to communicate with your sales. Uh when when throughout the day you go through a lot of things, you give your attention to a lot of things, you may be at work uh or doing anything throughout the day, and you may receive uh different forms of stress, right? And this could affect your sales. It may, and when you think and stuff like, oh, my my work day is shitty. I'm having a bad day or people are getting on my nerves. I'm getting irritated, ETC. And you feel like things are not going your way. That is that is you. You are making yourself feel bad by telling your thing yourself that. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry for the stuttering and stumbling over words. I'm a little excited right now. I gotta put the charger in my laptop. So when you uh what was I saying? Basically you gotta just get in your body. Now I'm gonna go look at some notes here. Like I was saying, throughout the day, yeah, when you give your attention to it, like you gotta remember your sales are little tiny conscious you. They are little versions of you. They're tiny versions of you. They're conscious. They are aware of you. But are you aware of your sales being aware of you? I mean, you have the ability to be able to communicate with your sales. That's why they are called sales, like a cell phone. You have a connection to them. The word self, when people say take care of yourself or worry about yourself, the word self comes from the word sale. Now, let's move on here a little bit. So just like just like the earth or whatever, you know you got a, a, a stronger electromagnetic field in your heart than you do in the brain. And you ain't nothing. People, if you read a lot about spiritual stuff, you know they tell you you are the center of the universe, but you are also space. You are your own space, right? And you are nothing but space that things appear out of and disappear inside of. Appear inside of and disappear out of appear in and disappear <laughs> so just like with your feelings and thoughts that's why i say don't uh, uh identify with you don't have to react to feelings or thoughts because they're not always yours or they don't you, they're just not you your thoughts are not you they are things they are energy they hold a frequency and a vibration but they are not you that's why you don't have to react to them like they'll appear and then just leave you see what i'm doing with the cursor they'll just appear and then leave See, and then this also ties into the polarity uh, of you and the universe. Like, for example, let's pretend you got a split right here. Just split your body from right here. You got your head. You got the head of a phallus. You got your eyes. You got the eye on the phallus. They call the hole on the phallus an eye as well. They also call the rectum a brown eye. But your brown eye would be the south pole of your body. Your mouth would be the north pole of your body. Really, the North Pole originally would have been the blowhole that used to be in our head because we are amphibious beings. We devolved from amphibious beings. This is why the babies have a soft spot on their head. It used to be a blowhole. You can look this up. Used to be a blowhole. That would have been our North Pole, right? So then you got your hands is similar to your feet. You got toes. You got fingers. You got nails up here. You got nails down here. You got legs, arms, etc. You got your... the uh. You got the cheeks on your uh your 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 gluteus maximus. You got cheeks on your face. You have a, a vaginal hole. You have a mouth. The mouth is made out of the same flesh as a vagina, right? It's made out of the same flesh. But that was just just showing y'all the polarity of the bodies. So inside your body you have cells. Outside your body you got a bacteria. You we all got our own bacteria outside of our body living on our body. It keeps us clean and stuff like that. Right. We have our own germs, our own bacteria living on our body. It don't mean that they're bad bacteria, by the way. But then you have cells inside of you. So just like on the earth, you have humans living on the surface of the earth. 
the surface of the earth, and then you have people living inside the earth in Agartha, right? We are children of the earth. We, when, when our souls create the avatar of our body, they create it out of the elements of the earth and the universe. So we are weighed down to this earth by its electromagnetic field, just like our, our cells are weighed down inside of our body to its electromagnetic magnetic field. Our cells are also amphibious. They swim in our blood. Our blood would be like our inner Nile River. So Agartha is the inner continent or inner eighth continent. This right here, this central sun, a.k.a. the core, this is the heart of the earth, which vibrates at a frequency of 7.83 hertz, which should be the same frequency as your heart, which is called the skewman resonance. That's C-S-C-H-U-M-A-N-N resonance. That is the resonance of the earth. In your heart your heart should be beating at the same rate as the heart of the earth right so you we are we are literally cells of the earth the earth is a bigger organism right now let's go here what is this the earth has chakras as well just like us so you got the root chakra you got the sacral chakra what else you got the uh, you got the solar plexus you got the heart chakra, you got the, the throat chakra, you got the third eye, and you got the crown chakra of the earth. The earth has has uh, chakras just like the human body. It also got stargates. We got stargates. We got pores on our body. We could, we could equate them with the pores in our body. It's multiple stargates on earth. And, uh, and if you don't believe earth is hollow, there is a world on the inside of earth. You can look this into any Bible. You can look up Credo Mutwa. You can look up uh, Delbert Blair. They talk about how uh, just about every planet should be hollow and have people, uh, life inside of them. Every, just about every planet is hollow with Earth, I mean, with life inside of them. And listen, this information is older than your life, so I don't, I mean, hey, there's evidence. And if you can astral project, you can go to the moon. See, a lot of people get information by astral projecting, and people don't know that. And when they come back to this uh, life after astral projecting with new information, people will ask stuff like, where you get that information from, how you know that, or you, you bullshit, or how, where do I find that, where's your resources? You can't, everything is not able to be explained by logic, left brain, science, or, or human, period. So if you know how to astral project, that could be one of the best ways to get information that we don't have the answers to in this life. But uh, like I was saying, stress can make your cells weaker. When you when you under stress, uh, your cells react to that stress the way you are believing the stress is making you feel. Right. We got a microverse inside of us. Outside of us is a macroverse. The entire universe, the multiverses, the omniverses. The entire everything is a macroverse. Our microverse, the inside of our body, the outside of our body is literally a reflection of that. We are children of the entire universe. We have the universe in our DNA. The universe is a conscious entity. Right? So, what we know here. Oh, and by the way, this is the North and South Pole right here. Just like in the human body. Right here, look at these tunnels. These tunnels are uh tunnels to get into it. I have a picture of tunnels all over the uh United States, but I ain't gonna show that right now. I don't think I can find that on Google, but I got it in my phone. The, you can say these are the pores as well. Right here, you got volcanoes. That's like acne. That's like acne. Right. So let's let's go here. Just listen. He gonna explain to you. You can listen to this whole video if you want to, but he is going to explain to you how you can use your cells. Or communicate with your cells to heal your body. All right, hold up. You all have something in common, and we're going to give it a name for the first time ever. And here it is. It's going to be Call C A L. And here's what it stands for: Cells are listening. Cells are listening. This is how you were built. The divine complimenting you. It's one, one, one. 
one eleven p.m. Built into every cell of your body. Cells are a collection of what has been created by the DNA. Through the blueprint that is in there, every cell exists with one attribute. And it hangs out so clearly on itself. It's waiting for instruction. And the only instructions that it will hear are the ones given through the divine complement of human consciousness directly with pure intent to him. Did you hear that? Let's talk about that communication for a moment. It's like every single cell had a telephone that was ready to be answered if you knew the number. If you could dial the number, you could talk to all of them at once. They would all pick up the phone. And it'd be you. Yep. That's built in. Just like I said. And it doesn't respond to linearity. Yep. The communications with the cells of the body is a multi-dimensional communication, but your yep. human consciousness is also. It's part of the DNA field. It's part of the Merkava of your body. I'll tell you what an intuitive could do. You could look at your soul, literally, through the Merkava field. What is a Merkava? Merkava. Meaning light body, spirit, or light spirit body. Uh, you could say Mer means light. You could say it means black. It comes from Moors, Moors. It's easy. Where is it? Hold up. Uh. I mean, you could look up a uh, a picture of the Earth. Where did I? Where is this picture? I know it was a picture of a. There is some pictures of Earth with the Merkaba. There it is, right there. You see this right here? This thing is called a tetrahedron. That that diamond upside down. This this these triangles. In the third dimensional or fourth dimensional aspect or whatever dimension you can say, we're going to say third right now because that's that's where we are right now. You use this shape to activate what is called a Merkaba light body, which is your real light ship, the ship of your body. You use this to exit this life and you can use that. You use that also, I think, when you go into uh, what's it called? Stargates. But I know when you use this, you can exit this life. This Merkaba is your light body. Ka means spirit. Ba means body. So it's Merkaba, your light spirit body. Or you can also say Mer, it means immortal. Immortal light body. Immortal spirit body. That is what this is, and the earth has one as well. That's why you have to be on track with nature, with the earth's frequency. You got to be vibrating with the earth. To ascend with the earth because the earth has to ascend as well, right? The earth has to spiral up as well. You see this eight right here? This eight equals reincarnation. It got to turn into a nine. The nine equals a spiral going up. The six equals a spiral going down. The eight equals in reincarnation. So it got to be a nine and it spirals up, right? We are multidimensional beings. That's what uh, Cryon was saying. That's what I was saying when I said our cells, us and our cells are multidimensional beings. That's why I also said angels and God are able to help more than one person at the same time. They're able to project themselves in many places, right? I ain't going to get too deep into this because I, this is going to be discussed in another video. But we are all a reflection of God for people who don't understand God. Here's the source, right? This is the last heaven, you could say, but this is where the source is. Then the source breaks down into a uh, two, two uh, a feminine and a masculine. That's what you can say this is. And then they break down into soul groups. And then they break down into other uh, deities. And then these deities break down into us humans. Right? This is us. We are literally God. We are. This is why I say we are all gods. Not in the sense that everybody is spiritually advanced because not everybody 
who is on this planet is going to be able to be a God. You're, they don't conduct themselves like a God and they cannot reach that spiritual potential. Everybody not going to be able to do that. Right? So it you can't just blatantly. I know I've been saying it, but you can't just blatantly say everybody a God because you also have caucasoids who have no soul. But we ain't going to get too deep into that right now. I've talked about that a lot. Uh, right here, you got the soul. This is us. So you can also take this and apply this to your uh your sales. You can also say this is your sales. Shit, this you this right here could be you. You go inside your body and you heal your cells. You give the attention to the uh spot or your of on your body where you got a cut, or if you got dis-ease in the body, stress can cause dis-ease. Uh being sick or just things like that, having a dis-ease in the body, because a disease is just a dis-ease. And and Lior in a video on her talking about uh self healing, she talked about how how what what was I saying? What, where was I going here? She talked about uh what did she talk about? She was talking about how you could fuck, let's just move on here. Right here you got SpongeBob and his brain cells. It'll come back to me, but. Right here, you got SpongeBob and his brain cells. This is the same thing. When you're going through stress, this is how your body uh, uh, reacts, or this is how your cells will react to the stress. SpongeBob, you gotta help me. Patrick and Mr. Krabs aren't working out, and Squilliam's almost here, and, and SpongeBob. He's stressed. He's stressed out. Look at him. tight he got tightness Good. in his body now, blood flow ain't going empty through correctly because he because he got he clenching different empty parts of his body mind. empty your mind empty my mind empty your mind of everything that doesn't have to do with fine dining fine dining and breathing just got an order from the boss dump everything that isn't about fine dining everything you see all these little spongebobs inside of spongebob those his brain cells those are his cells this is how they act under stress or when they going crazy like they do later on in the episode that is how that is how your cells act when you under pressure under uh stress. And not only that, this this right here, your chakras are associated with planets. They're ruled by planets. Now look at this. It, it's gonna be hard to communicate with your body, especially if you're somebody with depression or anxiety. This is why you gotta get into get into theta brain waves. So you can play theta brain wave music. It's good for meditating. Good to get get into a uh, deeper meditation. So you see how Earth, I told y'all Earth ruled by Satan. Look at this, Saturn. So Earth uh, Earth is also your root chakra, right? You connect to the Earth with your root chakra. And this is also your inner hell. You see where it's at? It's down where your bowels are. That is why the deepest, darkest parts of hell in real life, that's why they call it the bowels of hell. The bowels of hell, right? So let's move on to this video right here. This is going to talk about the belief. It's all about your belief and your perception. When you add the word B next to a word, B-E or B, like be lack or be lessing, blessing, black, or to be something, be friend, it means to live by or be that. So when you're saying you, you believe something, you're saying you live by something. So when you saying I believe I can heal myself, I live by me being able to heal myself, heal my scars, heal my sickness, heal my disease. And and and, and listen, just because I talk about stuff like this, how to do certain things, it don't mean you able to do this right away. You, it's not something you can just learn overnight. The things that I teach, the things that I show y'all, it's not just something you learn overnight. It's things you can uh 
It's things you can learn how to do over time because a lot of y'all have a low vibration. Y'all can't do shit. Right? Most people have a low vibration. Most people don't know how to meditate. Most people can't even sit down and think to themselves. Most people don't like to sit in quietness with their own thoughts. But let's move on here. This is going this is going to talk this is going to teach y'all about the belief. Oh, and what I was going to say Lior was talking about Lior was talking about the uh the sugar pills that I told y'all about. Remember I told y'all how you can cure cancer? How there is stories about people curing cancer. The doctor would cut the people open, not do anything, close them back up and give them sugar pills. Or if they came to the doctor with a disease or a sickness, they would give them a sugar pill. It's called a placebo sugar pill. And the, they would they would be healed. Sometimes they don't know it's a sugar pill. And, and when they taking it, they thinking they they thinking that they, they believe they believe that they're healing themselves with the pills. And over time, they eventually heal themselves. That's because they believe they were getting better. Right. They believe they were getting better. So it's about your perception. Right. Live by your own truth. Live by it. Right. So listen to this. Each person's reality is individual. We perceive and experience the world in very different ways. This reality is projected outward from the inner workings of thoughts, feelings, and beliefs. Our beliefs create artificial barriers. Imagine them as a large fence that surrounds your reality. They are barriers that you've constructed over time. Because of the structure that they are, you can only perceive up to this fence line and no further. This is how you create your reality. However, your real self is not limited, whether you hold the belief that this is true or not. To understand who you really are, it's important to learn to experience yourself as separate from your beliefs. Mm. They are not who you are. They are simply constructs that can be disassembled if they are not in alignment with what you want. Sit quietly for a few moments with your eyes closed and become aware of the essence of who you are. Free yourself from concepts and experience the motion of your inner life. This is a deep, energetic rhythm that is the nature of who you are. It is not confined by time and space. There is no criteria regarding your feeling states. No rules as to how this should work for you. And no time limit required. Whatever you feel is uniquely your own. This exercise simply puts you in touch with your true quality of being. And in all of its simplicity, you can use this process anytime you wish to become centered in your own being. This energetic rhythm flows out from you in all directions. It is not confined. But that's pretty much it. So basically, it's about your belief system. The science calls your belief system placebo. Right? Because a lot of a lot of things they don't know how to explain everything because they can't. Like I tell y'all, you can't explain everything with logic. You can't explain everything with science. You can't explain everything left brain, right? So they try to call your belief system a placebo. Like when you, if you was to, if you was to believe you, like you had a cold and you believed you didn't, and over time the they they call and, and look over time. You without taking medicine, you got over that uh that cold. Science will call that a fucking placebo. And and if you was to go tell them, oh, I used my brain, I used my mind power to heal my body, they'll be like, oh, that's just a placebo effect. Oh, that's just you thinking you did this da da da. It's just a placebo effect. No nigga, that's my belief system. We always and I always for the past few years. Before I even knew about this cell thing, healing yourself, I always looked at the 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 fact that humans have the ability 
to over time their bodies will heal any scar i always held that trait of a human body precious i always thought that was precious i always thought that was some that that that's put there as a gift when we have a cut in our avatar when we have a scar on our avatar the scar heals itself without medicine without anything it heals itself do y'all realize that our body sit there and and it and it start growing and and rebuilding itself, healing a cut, healing a gash, healing a slit. That's your cells rebuilding your your derma your 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 dermal flesh. But that's pretty much it. I just wanted to show y'all how to. You know, heal yourself, use your cells to do anything. You can use your cells as well to uh, manifest realities, manifest uh, different things in your life because everything starts on the inside of you. Every You got to get your microverse right to get your macroverse right, your outside world. Get your internal environment right, <laughs> excuse me, to get your external environment right. And by the way, when it comes to doing this uh, cellular rejuvenation, cellular healing, self-healing, don't you keep your ego and your spiritual ego out of it, right? Remember that every all information that you forget about, that you don't give too much attention to, but you looked at or whatever, it go to your subconscious mind. And your subconscious look for things that make it happen. So also when you're doing this, when you meditating or listening to the, uh, theta brain waves, which you don't necessarily need, it's not mandatory, but you can use and it'll help help you get it faster and easier. Uh, this will heal you, and you can also use. The language of light to heal yourself while you're doing this. But that's pretty much it. I love you all. Dom Universe taking off. Like, subscribe. Peace.